A few moments ago I finished a video um, outlining all of these um, Google drawings, text, shadow, drop shadow, stuff like that. In this uh, short video I want to speed along to show one simple technique for preparing an image for um, a bit of something, he says. Uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm making these videos as I go along, meaning, you know, in real time, as if I was, you know, the teacher sat next to you, actually showing you how these things actually work. So this is what I mean. Um, I want to prepare this image to go, say, in a blog post or somewhere with a white border and a simple, simple drop shadow to look like it's a real life picture sat on a desk. And so the way I can actually do that, the first thing I'm going to do is reset the image options. Reset the image. Not much happening, is there? OK, we're doing this in real time. Let's take away the reflection and make the image bigger. OK, let's just slow down my process here. There is my image. First thing, number one step, is go to the border outline and I want to make a white border. I'm just going to make sure, and you can see that nothing's happened. Then I'm going to add a 24 pixel white border. Okay, which is pretty big. Let's change this um, to a slightly different colour. Tell you what, no, no, let's leave it, let's leave it. Let's add now a drop shadow. There's the drop shadow. And in, in actual fact, I think that 24 is far too big. Let's try 16. Yeah, let's try that. So what you can see has happened now is that we have got a little white border around the outside and a nice drop shadow. You know, you do this, when I say nice, I mean it's kind of like better than the original. You know, if you can do better, and I hope you can, then please do better. So the thing is, is that, uh, and let me know about it when you do something, transparency, leave it, angle, it's not too bad. I think it's the 45, let's, no, let's increase that up to about there. The blur radius, how would that naturally look? That, that's too heavy, isn't it, really? Say something like, you know, just a sort of a... Yeah, that would do. Now, the distance is crucial here. I think if I bring it in, I want it to be just as so it's kind of like... Yeah, that would do, won't it? Now, I think the, the white border possibly is still too big. So let's bring that down to, say, 12. And I think the important part of, the, should we say, the paper colour... At the moment, let's change that to... Let's try and say that that paper colour is a sort of a sepia-y sort of colour. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It will, it will do for the example. In other words, you can see that we've got a picture which has a drop shadow. In actual fact, let's bring that up just a little bit to um, that one there. Yeah, that, that's actually acceptable, isn't it, I think, really, in that we've got um, a picture with a white border, with a drop shadow. If I wanted to make the drop shadow a little bit heavier, then I can make the transparency wrong. Let's go the other way. Learn by doing, people, and don't be scared to make any mistakes, because you can always undo them, and you can always start again. That's it. That's it. That is honestly it. So, so all I need to do now, in actual fact, is let's be bold enough to make that bigger. Just make that bigger put it down to that and then we can uh, actually a little bit let's leave it there and let, let's say hey you know lesson over in other words what we've done is we've taken something now what I would normally do after that is say okay it's not exactly how I need it meaning that if I wanted to crop it or I could download it as a JPG or a PNG and then just crop it in and stuff it somewhere else or post it somewhere else that I wanted it to go. Uh, four minutes of this video. Please let me know if you've learned something or you're using this in a slightly different way. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.